You know, yeah. there, are, there are times when, you know, it's time to be home alone, crying in, in the bathtub, uh, times in prayer, times deep reflection, and times of social, political, economic activism, etc. There are a lot of hours in the day, um, especially living in today's world. There is the personal repair and the collective repair. And when we do not allow our energy to be frittered away by these ultimately meaningless things that just suck on our life force all day, every day, it's amazing how much time uh, we do have to spend. Hope is born of participation in hopeful solutions. One of the problems with depression and, and times of deep sadness and dark nights of the soul is that we are very tempted to isolate. And it's very, very important that you know, no, no matter how sad or difficult time we have, to get out of yourself just a little bit every day and be there for someone whose problems are at least as big as yours. It's an amazing way. I know when I went through something um, not even that long ago and um, I had counseling sessions to do. And I remember sometimes when I would look on my calendar, oh my God, I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to counsel them at 2 o'clock. But you know what? My subconscious, the subconscious is amazing. It's not only did I because I, that integrity demanded that, that I show up for what I had agreed to. Mm -hmm. My subconscious rose to the occasion, and then after that person left, guess what? I felt better. Yes, yes. So it was a gift to me as much as a gift to them. And I'm, I'm very fortunate as a student of A Course in Miracles, which is just one statement of universal spiritual themes. It doesn't claim to be better or worse than the other, but any other. But some deep spiritual practice gives you the kind of pr the guidance how to forgive, how to see yourself in relation to others, which is basically that we are one with each other and that every relationship, every encounter can be a holy one, where the spirit in me salutes the spirit in you. These principles become guideposts. Otherwise, we buy into this worldly delusion that it's all just random. You know, you just happen to have been thrown onto this planet, figure out what you want, and good luck to you. <laughs> right. That's, that's terrifying. You know, yes. The Course in Miracles says you are like a sunbeam to the sun, hallucinating that you're separate from the other sunbeams. You're like a wave in the ocean thinking you're separate from other waves. If I think that I'm just one wave separate from all the other waves, how can I not be terrified by the ocean? How can I not be oh, yes. I'm going to be overwhelmed by the ocean? I'm just a tiny little wave. But if I realize the truth on the level of spirit, on the level of body, you're separate from me, but on the level of mind, there is no separation. If I'm a wave in the ocean thinking I'm one with the ocean, then I just identify with the power of the ocean. Right. The psychological orientations could not be more different. So when we realize we're part of a whole, that we come from a divine source, that we're here with a mission, a divine mission to extend love to each other, to collaborate in love, to heal the world, it puts you in a place where you can be comfortable in your skin. That's and true. without that sense of who you are, and without that sense of why you're here, you can't be comfortable in your skin, and you can't be ultimately terrified, and you can't be ultimately depressed. Yes, that, that the concept of isolation, I can see where it would do that, because being isolated, you're alone. You're, yeah. you're, you're, you're in the dark, so to speak. And so grasping for help outside yourself, or you're grasping for the things outside yeah. yourself that you think will fix it, which only repels the things that would actually help you. Right, that's very but, true. You know that your, your, your help and your guidance comes from a higher source, a higher power by whatever name you call it. It's not outside you physically, but from a thought system beyond your own, in you but not of you, as they say. It, it puts you in a completely different psychological and emotional orientation to life. Oh, it does. It does. So, so it takes life from a completely different place, and life gives back to you in reflection of that.